playtime. Another step forward in our reopening gave people a new chance to get outside today. And it's not just families with young kids thrilled to see the outdoor activity. Good evening, everybody. I'm Lee Martin. And I'm Paula Eben. The tennis courts are open as well. And WBZ's Paul Burton shows us the precautions. The second part of phase two of the state's reopening is in full swing and creating quite a splash. Lots of fun, lots of fun, lots of fun. The Sudbury River Tennis Club in Framingham was packed with seniors who felt young again now that they can return to the courts. We have an re online reservation system, so they're, they're filling up real quick. Susan Harrison of Needham arrived with her mask and gloves on. COVID-19 safety signs are posted everywhere here, and there's as much hand sanitizers as there are tennis balls. Everybody is so respectful. We wear a mask till we get on the court. We wear this glove in the hand that we're not, you know, holding the racket, so when we pick up the ball, we're not spreading any germs. Well, certainly it is an older crowd. Um, we've had a few people that have resigned this year, but I know they'll be back. Um, you know, we're just being extra careful. Our, our restrooms aren't available. On Monday, city playgrounds and splash parks also reopened, and parents were out in full force making sure their kids can breathe some much-needed fresh air. Ryan Glover couldn't wait to take his 6, 5, and 2-year-old to a splash park in Brighton. I'm incredibly happy to be able to take my kids outside again. The city of Boston is urging folks that when they come visit these parks to social distance as much as possible. Continue wearing face coverings to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Today, some are listening, some are not. It's a mix. I think like, you know, you see half people when stuck or anything with masks and then you see half people without masks. With or without, it seems folks are smiling again, even behind the mask. This happened. In Boston, I'm Paul Burton. WBZ News.